Okay, here we are cruising down uh, one of our main industrial boulevards here in Homa. As you notice, there's very light traffic and most of the yards you see off to the right and left are uh, uh, pretty much, uh, what do you say, dormant. In other words, they, they're just sitting there, they're idle. You look in the parking lot, you don't see any vehicles. This is in the middle of the day, you know. You notice that there's real light traffic here on this street too. You know, uh, there's just no activity now since the oil field got so uh, slow, you know. No jobs. Okay, here we are on another street. Uh, you see all the businesses here with very few cars in them. Usually these uh, businesses are jam-packed, you know. Just another sign of a slowdown. Now here we are at an intersection where we see a crane parked. Even the uh, booms laid down on it, you know, because they're not doing anything. This is a pretty big business here. Uh, they do a lot of offshore uh, cable work and uh, winch work, you know. It's just there's nothing happening here. Everything is pretty much shut down, you know. Just no work for anybody here, you know. We're going to take a left here and go. Okay, here we go again across the intercoastal canal. You notice there's no barge traffic, no boat traffic. Now this place here does a lot of fabrication. It's right by the intercoastal before you go up the bridge. Um, they do a lot of welding, uh, uh, supply a lot of stuff to rigs, and uh, they um, have a um, like a boat yard, and they do uh, quite a bit of offshore uh, supplies, you know. And uh, they're a pretty big fabricator, do a lot of uh, marine work, but they're also, you don't see anything happening in the yard here either. You know, they're pretty much shut down. They got a skeleton crew, that's about it. Okay, here we are by the local golf course here in town. You know, there's, there's nobody out here. Usually during the week when the times are good, you see a bunch of golfers out there, but not in right now. Uh, you don't see anybody out here. I think there's one or two people you see here down at the other end of the golf course. But it's pretty much dead here, which reflects the economy, you know, that there's no money to throw around, you know. No money to buy boats, motorcycles, and silly stuff. You know? Okay, here we are. Uh, you see some, a lot of the businesses here, you see nothing but for rent, for lease, and for sale signs. Notice the parking lots are all empty. That's because they're not doing anything at all. That's what we're going to see as we make this tour around town. Is a bunch of empty parking lots and businesses that aren't doing anything because the oil field is so bad and so shut down, you know, so just be aware. Okay, here we are on Hollywood Road. Notice how sparse the traffic is here. There's hardly any... Okay. Okay, uh, now as we're cruising along here, just like in the rest of town, look off to the left, you see all these businesses with uh, nothing happening, empty parking lots. Uh, this really shut down. I can't tell you guys how bad it is here, you know, no jobs. Okay, here we are going along uh, another one of our streets in our industrial part of town. It's called Val High. And a lot of new businesses built out here, but I think they built at the wrong time. They built when the... Uh, Oh, I got up to $150 a barrel, thinking there were, you know, the good times and the boom were back again. But apparently they had an error of judgment, because if you look, a lot of these, if you look off the side here, a lot of these uh, parking lots and all, you notice there's nothing there. There's no cars there, no, very few trucks, you know. And this is where they fabricate and make uh, a lot of the equipment and a lot of the tools that they use in the oil field, but there's just nobody here, you know. It's just a sign of the times here in the oil field. Nobody wanted to hire, nobody hiring or whatever, you know. Okay, as we're cruising down the street here, you see some driveways again and parking lots that have no cars in them, no activity going on, and it's pretty much closed up. For you guys coming down here looking for a job, you're wasting your time. You can see a, a picture is worth 10,000 words. Look on either side of the road here. All you see is for sale signs, for rent signs, and for lease signs because most of these people have packed up and left, you know. These are just empty buildings, and the uh, realtors would like to get you in here, but uh, there's nothing happening in this part of town, you know. If we cruise up the street, you see nothing, no activity at all. Again, we cruise up, on up the street. You notice all these buildings here that are pretty much empty. You see a lot of for sale signs, for lease signs, for rent signs. And there's nobody in there. There's nobody hiring. You know, that's why I tell you guys, don't come down here looking for a job because there just is nothing. Just keep looking off the side here. You see anything happening, you know? Middle of the day, and these places are, I mean, they are dead. 
And uh, we're coming up on Boots and Coots. You see that big blue building up there? They even packed up and left town because they came in during when the wall went up and they left shortly before it went down, you know. Okay, as we cruise on down the street here, yeah, I keep looking over here at these parking lots and stuff. It's kind of boring, but, you know, that's just how it is, you know. Uh, just no activity. Even the fabrication yards, the boat yards, everything is empty. Keep looking here. You see some more empty parking lots. Middle of the day, you know. Just nothing happening. We're cruising on down the way here, and I want to let you know. You notice how dead it is here, and a lot of you guys, I see them coming to town with backpacks and different things on motorcycles. Sometimes a little beat-up car, you know. But generally, you're looking along here, you know, you don't see any activity like we usually have. It used to be these streets were packed. It was bumper to bumper traffic, you know. It was the boom time. But uh, now that boom time is gone, you know. So it's back to the normal things we yeah, most people do every day. The, uh, the chance of job here is almost nil and none. You'd be better off to go to Houston or Dallas or Midland or uh, San Antonio, Texas to get a job out there in the Permian Basin because offshore oil is dead. The old days of making big money offshore are behind us, you know. And there's no more, uh, they've told us there's no more boom coming, you know. Your jobs are gone and they're never coming back, you know. So much for that. Okay, here we are back on another road. I forget which one this is, but uh, if you'll notice, all the buildings on the left and right, normally busy, busy, empty parking lots, you know. We, I think we've been down this road before, but uh, I just wanted to point out to you that all the, there's not much oil field here. In other words, there's not a lot of businesses here, but we're cruising past some ones that we know of that uh, where we normally do business with, you know, and where there used to be a lot of activity now, there's just nothing, you know cruising down here, uh, down Val High again, you know, to see if we can spot anything. There, so there's a new building that just was put up, you know, and it, it, right at the boom of the oil field. I don't even know if it opened yet. You know, it may have never open. you know. A lot of them are like that. We look through here, more parking lots with nothing in them, you know. Just uh, endless businesses with no activity whatsoever, you know. So y'all be aware. I'm trying to give you a heads up so you don't come down here needlessly, waste your time and money. This town is dead, and it's not coming back. We've already been told that the party's over. In other words, uh, we've been told uh, your jobs are gone away, and they're never coming back. So you can see by the uh, these uh, driveways and parking lots and the activity going on here, that it's nothing like it used to be. It used to be this place really, you could walk from one shop to the other, and you quit one job and be in an, uh, another job uh, after lunch. You know, it, it was just people that had help wanted signs out and all like that. Those, that's not that way anymore. The old, uh, the old days back in the 70s and 80s when you could just walk all over, get a job, you didn't care whether you ha what the guy thought of you, know, you just did what you wanted, you know. Well, those days are over, you know, the days of the drunks and the drug addicts and all that. That's history because there's just nothing here. You look in these parking lots, you see empty bays, nobody moving anything, nothing happening, you know. There's very little activity at all. I don't see how the places stay open myself because there's a, I mean, we see all the equipment coming in from offshore, but we don't see any going out, you know. And like I say, you look at all these parking lots, you got nothing and no people, no activity, you know. So you guys that are thinking about coming down here, look, I'm just trying to, you know, give you a heads up and, uh, you know, before you get burnt, you know, don't come down here looking for a job when there's nothing happening. You know, watch, it, watch all three of my videos. We, I give you the grand tour around town of all our industrial sectors, and we'll see, uh, I mean, I'll show you uh, what is really here instead of people. You go to a beer joint and they tell you, oh, this is this way and this is that. No, I'm showing you here on the video. Driving around town, you know, I can't hide all these people or all of what's bad here. It's just plain bad here. No jobs, no chance of jobs, you know. Like they told us, offshore oil is dead. The big oil field now is out in West Texas and in North Dakota. The, 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 uh, uh, seems like now since they started fracking that the, uh, there's more activity like in West Texas in the Permian Basin, around Midland, Odessa, and uh, San Antonio, Texas. As you see here as we cruise down these streets here, there's some more streets uh, in the industrial sector of town. Our, our industrial sector is not that big, you know, it's three or four areas in town. But as you can see, there's nothing happening here. It's just... Uh, this is the middle of the day, and a lot of these businesses are uh, not in operation. They're closed up, you know. And uh, 
a lot of them have left town, you know. Some of them have even went to West Texas and all like that, have moved their operations to West Texas, you know. Some of them have moved to Lafayette, to uh, Houston, to Dallas, you know. A lot of them just going home to those places. That's where their home offices are at, you know. You know, we're going to go on back up here towards the main part of Homa, which is... Uh, Highway uh, 311, you know, this is where most of business, most of the real up-and-coming businesses are along Highway 311, you know, where a lot of the service shops and the uh, offshore uh, service personnel work, you know. But as you can see, there's really nothing up here, you know, it's just uh, dead. See all the for sale signs and all the for rent signs? You see them in the front of the buildings, you know. Yeah, that's why I don't want to deceive you, you know. The, 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 as you look off the side, you see a bunch of these... Uh, uh, closed up place now you see uh, uh, a lot of these businesses they're still in operation but any one of them will tell you they're not doing the business they were you know it's just a fallacy you know so you fellas and all you people that uh, have an idea to come to the oil field and get you a big job there's nothing here here we come up on a big business that used to uh, be real serious about uh, actually they call a lot of shots in the oil field but uh, even their operation is pretty much shut down. You don't see any uh, trucks uh, picking up equipment or any or supplies. You, there is, there's no 18 wheelers. That's the big boys that pick up a lot of the heavyweight stuff that goes offshore. Even they're not. The, you don't see their presence here because there's nothing to haul out. Pretty much everything that was offshore has been hauled in. There's still some stuff coming in, but there's there's not you know, there's nothing to haul in. You know because pretty much all of it's already in. Well, look up through here. You'll see how these businesses got no trucks, no cars, no employees walking around, you know. The proof's in the pudding. So, guys, don't come down here looking for a job because there just aren't any jobs, you know. Or say, uh, go somewhere else. Go where there's a plant, like a manufacturing plant or something. But don't come to Louisiana looking for a job because you're going to be sad and mistaken. You're wasting your time, effort, and money, guys. Uh, the people here are having a tough time looking for a job. So uh, you just, you know, as you're jumping into a, a cesspool, you know, uh, you're going the wrong direction, you know. So leave Louisiana alone. Go on somewhere else.